good evening everyone I'm here again with Kai my reborn baby um I wanted to do a little detail video on her um as I stated in her introduction video she is my first reborn baby and she is a boo-boo baby um I got her about nine months ago off of eBay and I bid on her and won her in an auction. Um, at the time when I first got her, I didn't know much about reborn babies. I was looking online to find a lifelike baby or a realistic baby doll and I found Kai. So I bid on her and I won her in the auction and I was so excited I had one and I was looking forward to getting her and everything and I hadn't did any research on reborn vinyl baby dolls I knew nothing about them um, at the time so when I read her description I didn't really know what I was looking for what I should look for so a lot of things was left out of her description uh, a lot of questions I didn't even know to ask so I didn't ask anything. So I just basically purchased her off of eBay and adopted her and I just was in love with Kai from the time I saw her. So finally when I got her, I opened the box and I was so excited. And the, But the first thing I noticed was how rosy red her cheeks were. And I didn't particularly care for it because it looked too artificial it didn't look realistic it was too red so but i do remember in the description it mentioned that she had rosy cheeks but i had no idea until i actually saw her how rosy her cheeks were and ironically within i would say four weeks that was the first problem i had with kai the pink rosiness or red rosiness of her cheeks began to fade and rub off. Uh, about, I would say, a month into having her, her cheeks pretty much turned white. The paint just rubbed off, basically. Every time I would dress her, I guess, um, hold her, the paint was just rubbing off. Um, then, I don't know if you can see it she looks a little better now because i decided i would buy the genesis heat set paints which i found out from watching videos on youtube and the reborn community about the genesis heat set paints and how they are not supposed to rub off or fade they should be permanent um so i found out about that and i decided to take the chance and paint her cheeks myself and eventually i had to really paint like over her whole face a little to blend it um, and I also purchased a heat set gun so I used the heat gun along with the paints and I did get her cheeks a little color and her face a little better color but you can still see like a reddish tint that she has to her face it's still a little too red on camera right now she looks pretty good um, from where I'm looking at with the camera is kind of blending her skin tone really well But in person you can see that she's a little too red. She's supposed to be biracial But she's really a little too red um, Also with her paint her arms and hands It are not painted to match her face her arms are barely painted at all. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's, her arms are basically um, a neutral color. It's not really painted. Her hands are a little painted, but they do not match her face. Um, also, with her feet and her legs, the same problem. Her legs are not really painted they're a little tannish color but not really painted they don't match her face at all and those were the first things I noticed um, when I first got her as soon as I undressed her I saw that her legs basically weren't done her arms 
and hands and feet weren't done this foot is a little darker um you can see that her feet are not the same color so those were the first things i was so upset about but i wanted to keep her i loved her so i basically just decided to deal with it and keep her i didn't want to send her back then the next thing was her hair she had um more hair than she has right now but she even when she came she didn't have much hair but she had more than she has now her hair in the front basically just pretty much came out within a month or so and i barely was brushing it but the little brushing i did and from putting the little headbands and things on her and hats it rubbed her hair out um i guess that mint is not glued and sealed from the inside that was something else i learned after i had purchased her um that the hair is best when it's glued and sealed from the inside um also the back of her head is not painted at all that's another problem with the painting her back of her head was basically just left plain and there was no hair really rooted in the back of her head there was one little patch of hair over here you can still see a little bit of it left and that pretty much came out too but no hair was rooted back here no painting was done back here so those were the problems right from the beginning that i saw um her little boo-boos that she had or big boo-boos to some people that might be um also her neck the tie the seal tie that you use you can see where it's been cut and it's sticking out so this is not in properly um i saw another video on youtube where the person was showing how you should um put the ties when you restuff them or you're stuffing them or weighting them you put the tie through the other side and it comes out nice and smooth right here so that wasn't done properly either this will scratch you and stick you and each of her seals are her ties are done the same way um then the next problem that came about was months later i would say at least maybe four months after i had kai i found that um her leg came a loose and it came off so i had to put it back on and as i picked up her leg sand poured out of her leg so that is when i found out that she is weighted with sand which was very upsetting because i had no idea she was weighted with sand i just assumed most of these babies are weighted with polyfill fiber and glass beads most of the time my baby has polyfill fiber and sand so that was another thing I didn't know to look for on her description was what was she weighted with and that is really important when you are shopping for these babies if you are first time reborn mommy and you want to get a reborn baby look and see what your baby is weighted with because you don't want a baby weighted with sand um right now the sand is coming out of her dose weight body at times it'll come out and you could feel like the sandiness in her pamper when i change her or in her clothes or if i have her laying in the bed that she lays in when i pick her up you could feel the sand grit in the bed so the sand is basically beginning to come out so I watched another video on waiting reborn so that's my next adventure is to try and re-weight her I'm going to take all the sand out all the polyfiber fill and I would like to get the cluster stuff to restuff her and the glass beads to re-weight her I'm going to try to do that soon because I travel a lot and I don't like the fact that um, especially if you use the airlines a lot you know they check everything and really they aren't supposed to be weighted with sand because then they say they're not really safe for travel so that is my next major priority is to reweight her um when i found out she had sand in her i called the artist back immediately the the, the reborn artist 
and I asked her about it and um, she did not want to seem to admit that she was weighted with sand. She told me that she had did so many babies at the time that she didn't remember what my baby was weighted with for sure. She said some of them have glass granules and some of them did have sand and she said the two are just they look just alike and you can't even tell the difference between the sand and the glass beads so I didn't argue with her or anything and I don't want to bash the artist I didn't I don't want to name her name but um that's what she claimed she wasn't sure but I know for sure it's sand because it keeps coming out of her and it came out of her leg when her leg came off so you just want to ask those questions make sure you look for genesis heat set paints that will never rub off or fade look for that in the description if it's not there ask the artist or the seller what kind of paints are used on your baby ask them what kind of weighting um are, is used inside of them what are they weighted with what are they filled with all of those questions i didn't know to ask so that's why i'm doing this video in the hope that I can help someone else out that may be thinking about buying a reborn baby for the first time or bidding on a reborn baby on eBay just look for those things those are very important if you want a baby that's gonna last you for a long while and that can hold up when you play with them or you hold them or you changing them you don't want your baby dripping sand or falling apart as you're you know changing them you don't want their paint rubbing off and all of that you want to make sure their hair it says that it's glued and sealed from the inside if it's not glued and sealed from the inside your baby within one month will have no hair at all so those are the things i found out um with her body it is pretty good but it's just that I think her legs could have been weighted a little better I don't even think her, her legs are filled as as much as they should be they're not filled out good I think they need a little more filling and the sand that's in them tends to slide up and down her leg depending on how you're holding her the sand will be in her foot one minute and then the next minute you press her little foot and it's it is no sand in it like this one is pretty smushy right now that means the sand has slid up her leg so it's not in her foot anymore and I love her cute little feet on the bottom but those are the things you just want to look out for and also look at the photos that are on the auction online or when the baby is for sale just look at the photos and if you don't see enough photos with enough details or photos that are close up enough ask the seller or the artist if they have any more photos that they can email you or something because sometimes when there's not a lot of photos or if the baby is completely dressed in all of the photos and you notice they don't really show the baby where you can see their legs and their arms with short sleeves on or a dress on or short short pants on and they the baby's completely covered just look out for those things too because Kai was completely covered in all of her photos it wasn't many photos of her to look at and I didn't really notice that but now I do is because she probably didn't want to show that her legs weren't painted well to match her face and her hands and arms weren't painted well either to match her face so and you can see her legs when I look at her now they're not really filled out like they should be she probably didn't want you to see all of that in the photos so the seller didn't show all of that she made sure she put her in long sleeves and long pants and socks and a hat so I couldn't see her hair good either she didn't have like any back view of the hair or anything so you wouldn't see that there's no hair in the back you only could see a front view and most of the photos she had on a pretty hat so just watch out for those things and a lot of times if the description in of the baby is too brief and short and there's things that you don't see there is probably a reason why it's not mentioned in the description 
so that's something to look out for and make sure if you don't see something in the description ask the question if you have a question just look out for all of those things when you know when you're ordering your first baby or any reborn baby just look out for certain clues like that um her legs are like I said they have the ties where the piece is sticking out and those will stick you sometimes my kids will like to hold her so I usually keep her with long pants on so that way these won't stick them because they do hurt if they stick you or scratch you so I'm going to re when I reweight her I'm going to change the ties and fix them better um as her as you can see her legs the polyfiber fill is beginning to not be as fluffy as it should be so I guess that means she needs to be re-stuffed with some I'm going to use cluster stuff um is her body is pretty good if she was painted well I mean that was the major thing other than that she wouldn't have been too bad I mean I could get I found out I could get her some hair rooted so I'm going to look into that I found out so much information since I have been watching these videos on YouTube and became a part of the reborn community on YouTube so now I know I could possibly get her repainted again hopefully and they can take away um, some of this reddish tint she has and get her little skin all evened out and painted properly and get her hair rooted and those are the major things and I probably could restuff her and weight her myself. Um, other than that, those are Kai's boo boos. And I just figure out ways to work with it because, like I said, I don't want to part with her. And here's the back of her. And that's her details. Um, also, I didn't know about the at the time when I ordered her that her eyelashes could be rooted also she had eyelashes and they were so nice as I, I thought they were they looked nice but then after I got her I would say maybe three months the one of them started to come loose and that's when I found out they would have stick on eyelashes or glued on and so once the one started to come loose I just basically took both of those off so she also needs rooted eyelashes when I get her hair rooted. Um, if there's any reborn artists out there watching my video, if you think you could fix her up, please message me or any other reborn mommy that might know of a good reborn artist that I could maybe contact. Please message me with that information. And um, one thing I did really like that she has is an open mouth, which most reborns don't have an open mouth. If you squeeze her little cheeks, her mouth opens. So she can take a modified passy, which I usually cut them. And she's able to take a modified passy. And she can also take a small nipple bottle, which I usually use this one. It fits in her mouth pretty good. It's a Gerber Essentials, the newborn size nipple, and it can go in her mouth. So that was a benefit to her because she can take a bottle and a passy, which most reborns can't. They only can take a magnetized, magnetized passy and bottle. So that I liked with her. That was a plus. And I think that's about it with Kai. I hope um, that this video helps someone out there that might watch it and is thinking of ordering a reborn baby or bidding on their first reborn baby. What to look for, what to ask. Just read a lot, research a lot, and if you have any other friends or family members that already have a reborn baby maybe ask them some questions or on here you can message and ask different reborn mommies questions um, before you buy your baby so that way when you order your baby and you finally get it you'll be very happy and 
you'll have less problems than what I had <laughs> and that's pretty much it and you'll see Kai in some future videos um and also I meant to mention I had at first was not going to put Kaya in any videos this is her first time really being on video because of all of the boo-boos that she had so I didn't really want to put her on video but then my children were saying mommy why don't you put Kaya on video so then I decided okay I'll put her on video so I'm glad I did and hopefully this video like I said will help out some other new reborn mommy that is shopping for their first reborn baby. And I will surely put Kai in future videos and Kai would like to say thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye bye.